that. You know, we had some protesters last night when we uh, when we pulled up in San Francisco, and they're right to protest. They're absolutely right. It is an obscene amount of money. The Sanders campaign, when they talk about it, is absolutely right. It's ridiculous that we should have this kind of money in politics. I agree. That is George Clooney agreeing with criticism over how much money he raised at several recent fundraisers for Democratic presiden presidential hopeful Hillary Clinton. He's rumored to have raised upward of $15 million from both events. Tashana Reed is here with more. Why is Clooney so eager, it seems, to admit that he raised an obscene amount of money. Well, clearly he knows how to show a party. $15 million is uh, reportedly how much they raised over two nights. Now, uh, they hosted two weekend fundraisers, both George Clooney and his wife, Amal Clooney, uh, in California in support of Hillary Clinton. And, you know, the two fundraisers were sold out both nights. Uh, they were attended by 100 people. And for a pair of seats at the head table, uh, where the Clooney's would be seated, uh, as well as people like, you know, Stephen Spielberg, you could pay $350,000 for that honor. Uh, but last night's uh, event was held at uh, Clooney's home in Los Angeles, and single tickets cost a reasonable $33,000. So a lot of money here. Uh, as I mentioned, at least $15 million uh, raised. The, that's what we're seeing in reports. And, um, and what's interesting is back in 2012, he held a fundraiser for Barack Obama, and he raised the same amount. Now, in an interview with NBC's Meet the Press, he spoke a bit about why, you know, this is such a crucial uh, time, and he says there's a lot at stake. So he has, he agrees with uh, what the protesters and Bernie Sanders supporters were saying, but here's his reasoning behind why it's important to raise this money. Take a listen. The overwhelming amount of the money that we're raising is not going to Hillary to run for president. Uh, it's going to the down ticket. It's going to the congressmen and senators mm -hmm. to try to take back Congress. And the reason that's important, and the reason it's important to me, is because uh, we need, I'm a Democrat, so if you're a Republican, you're going to disagree, but we need to take the Senate back because we need to confirm a Supreme Court justice because that fifth vote on the Supreme Court can overturn Citizens United and get this obscene, ridiculous amount of money out so I never have to do a fundraiser again. So he wants to get out of the fundraiser business, but he's referring to uh, the Citizens United uh, ruling that was made in 2010, and that essentially kind of, you know, struck down the campaign spending uh, by corporations. So he's saying that this uh, is, there's a bigger, uh, you know, picture here, that it's not just about raising all this money, it's going, it's for the greater good. And he had, you know, some nice things to say about Bernie Sanders. He says, you know, he has good ideas. I think that I, I hope that he stays in the race because the discussions that we're having are very important and they're very, uh, he, you know, he didn't really have anything bad to say about him. And he said, you know what, if he ends up being the Democratic, uh, you know, nominee, I will gladly raise money for him. So that's good news. Now, on the other hand, I thought this was kind of funny. Uh, Howard Gold, who lives down the street from Clooney, he held his own fundraiser for Bernie Sanders, $27 a plate. So uh, it was kind of a funny thing. And they handed out dollar bills to protesters to throw at Hillary's motorcade as I it was coming in. That. So uh, quite, a, quite a lot of fun happening here. But uh, as, as you know, it's George Clooney, and uh, the star power uh, is definitely helpful to the Clinton campaign, and he says there's a good reason behind it. No kidding. George Clooney seems to be interested in money these days <laughs> in the paper. His new film at Sundance, also all about big money. This is just, it's such an interesting tangent, uh, but, you know, his film uh, Money Monster was just announced. It's starring uh, George Clooney as well as Julia Roberts. It's directed by Jodie Foster, and uh, it's been named uh, as an official selection at Cannes, so it will be premiering there this year. And essentially, he stars as a TV host that runs this, you know, financial show, and they're put in an extreme uh, situation when an investor who lost a ton of money comes in and essentially holds them hostage. And he ends up having to, you know, uh, have the show go on in this hostage situation and they kind of work through uh, what happened so it's a it's a really interesting story and plays on a lot of a lot of uh, you know very uh, topical uh, you know things talking about uh, money and and so it's just kind of interesting that that is also happening in the background ironic thanks yes. to shut up you're welcome